Welcome back to School of Civil Engineering. This is Tula with another new video. As we have started CSSA 2016 tutorial series and in our previous two lecture, I have just shown you that how we'll design, uh, I mean how we'll draw and uh, how we'll uh, manage our mat foundation and also how we'll define materials on it, materials properties and also how we'll uh, define load combination with uh, load case and load pattern. And in this lecture, I'm just going to show that how we'll apply load on it. So if you're new here, you can watch our previous video and also we have completed many things uh, about um, foundation design and also in CSSA 2016 tutorial series. And uh, before starting, I'm just requesting you, if you're a civil engineer, then don't forget to subscribe to our channel and also press the bell icon so that you get every update ever first. So first of all, to apply load, suppose uh, in practical, practically, when you will go for work, right when you will go for work then every columns load will be not same okay every column load will not same because you will get different types of load from your structure but i will here just consider every point load are same to reduce my time right so for that i will just select that point click that point be carefully by pressing control here sorry the one point here another point sorry uh, no need to press control just simply click that point then here another point here another point here carefully select your that point when you'll select you will see a, a star sign or cross sign to confirm that you have selected perfectly so I'll just select that Select that point. So, it's up done, right? Now, we have selected every point. Now, we'll go for here, assign, then lo uh, load data, then point load and from here I will just select live load first of all and I'll give her the data in gravity minus Z I'll just consider uh, 200 kilo Newton okay in every column or uh, 300 kilo Newton every column then uh, moment it's uh, 54 consider and uh, MOI it's 72 6 just I'm considering and here the most important thing size of load for punching share okay so what will be the size of load actually for punching share just the same size of column same size of column okay so I'll just give her 400 millimeter 400 millimeter it's done then click here so just see here we have a different load here and if you see it in 3 mode just see here we have successfully defined load on our every foundation okay on our every foundation we have selector load now again i'll go here xy plan and i'll click here pre-select i'll just click here pre-select to selector wall point previously we have selected then assign load data point load and for dead load we'll just consider that for dead load it's a one five zero just consider that then mx uh, suppose 50 and it's 45 i'm just giving here a assume data actually you will get that data from your design code okay and after that you have to just give here actually Uh, here is here is our uh, design code and actually and uh, we'll get our data we'll get our data from our 
building design okay and we have to give our data to our foundation for design here so after that i will again click here okay so we have selected our load here successfully right we have selected our load here successfully so if i go in 3d mode right if we go in 3d mode it's showing us our that uh dead load and if you want to see your live load so select here select here live load then okay so here is our live load sorry uh, here click here show loading value then here is our data actually okay so we have uh, successfully provided our load here now we'll go again for xi plane now we'll select our total mat foundation then i will provide our uh, soil property here okay i'll provide it our soil property so first of all i will uh, just go here assign then support data then soil properties okay and here B, uh, SBC soil bearing capacity then click OK so just see here it's showing us we have provided we have provided our soil support data and if you see in 3 mode just see here here is our soil property data so we have successfully completed uh, sorry we have successfully completed our wall procedure defining load then uh, boundary work soil properties so we have done everything now our foundation is ready for analysis okay our foundation is ready for analysis now i'll go for analysis so before analysis we'll save our model click here save and uh, i'll just go to my desktop and i'll create a new folder then i'll give mat foundation mf mat foundation then i'll also give it mat foundation then sorry here open that file and that mat foundation and then save so it's done okay we have uh, done our model perfectly now we'll go for by clicking here run analysis and design so I'll just simply click here and we'll see what happened actually so here is our foundation actually here is our foundation so it's showing us um, 9 mm for dead load okay now i'll just go here design uh, sorry display then show deform shape and from here for load combo we have four load combo for combo one uh, it's okay actually 9.8 on the maximum deflection is 9.44 mm so it's okay then for combo two uh, it's showing us uh, if we take our mouse here it's showing us that value 24 24.2 millimeter the maximum now we'll go for our uh, ultimate extent load combo then uh, for combo 1 it's giving us 13 only okay and for uh, combo 2 it's giving us 34 the maximum is giving 34 and here it's giving us the low displacement so it's maximum giving us 34 so our foundation is okay right our foundation is okay now suppose your foundation are failing and uh, then how will pass your foundation suppose if your foundation before telling that i'm just going for another check so the reaction okay soil reaction first then we'll go here soil pressure and from here we'll select our that combo 2 because uh, if that combo is okay then our foundation is okay as our previous experience so apply now if I come here it's giving us if I take our mouse here and if we show in every point it's giving us the maximum soil pressure is 139 but our allowable loss 200 right our allowable loss 200 kilonewton per meter square so also our foundation is safe for our soil pressure right so our foundation is okay actually now if your foundation is not okay 
then how will ho I mean what will do actually already I have discussed in a previous lecture that how will pass our uh, failing foundation okay but uh, if your foundation are failing in that two data for deflection and for soil pressure then you have to increase your foundation size right because uh, you cannot decrease your soil uh, I mean uh, load from your structure just you have to increase your foundation size clear now I will just go for or another check uh, display show punching shear design so I'll just click here now see here the magic our wall foundation are failing and all points are failing for punching shear check for punching shear check or all foundation are failing so here is the issue our wall foundation are failing for punching shear check our foundation is okay for both soil pressure and uh, settlement check but in punching shear check our foundation are failing so you know next video i'll just show you that how we'll pass or that foundation check i mean uh, punching shear check problem i mean failing and how we'll go for our final design process so thank you thank you very much yes well stay connected till next video and uh, if you think that that was helpful for you then please don't forget to subscribe to our channel and also press the bell icon so that you get every update ever first so thank you thank you very much stay connected till next video